Governor, thank you for coming out to the Labor Day event out here at Oaks Park. Your, your thoughts on the, the coal proposals, the six new coal terminals and proposals? Well, the concerns I have are less about the, the, the local process and more the lack of any national cogent energy policy. I mean, if this nation is going to uh, become a major energy exporter, what are the implications for national security? What are the implications for the environment? Uh, what's the process by which we then begin to trans uh, form ourselves into a low carbon future. Those conversations haven't taken place and I think it's very, very important that we have that dialogue nationally as a context for, uh, uh, for this whole uh, uh, energy exploration. Happy Labor Day! You know, America is a place where hard work and playing by the rules is supposed to mean something. It's supposed to mean you can feed your family and have a decent place to live where you can feel secure in your job, safe in your community, and you know your kids are going to have more promise and opportunity than you did. Woo! That's not just the American way, that's the American story. And it's a story that was written with the blood, sweat, and tears of working men and women in the labor movement. We know, we know that we have challenges in this nation that we can only meet to unity and common cause, but there are ideologues out there who are attacking working men and women and trying to tear us apart. At a time when we should be working together to rebuild the middle class and strengthen our democracy, there are people who are trying to make a scapegoat out of the labor movement to crush unions, to eliminate collective bargaining, to eliminate the prevailing wage, and to deny or Oregonians and Americans the basic right to vote. And I can tell you that's not going to happen here in the state of Oregon. I have a different view of the path forward for our state. As Oregon was the first state to recognize Labor Day, we will be the state that leads the way to an economy that actually values hard work and rewards it with good jobs. A state and an economy where opportunity and hope exist for every child, regardless of their income or neighborhood or race. A state where health care means getting healthier, not bankrupt and sicker. And I can assure you that Oregon will continue to have a state where your governor supports and will stand up for working men and women, will support collective bargaining, and will support your right to organize and form a union. Woo! All right. If we're going to rebuild the labor movement and the middle class in this state and across the nation, it will only happen if the labor movement and men and women stand together not just on Labor Day but every day. We can rebuild an economy that works for working people and reflects our values. We can do that here in Oregon. We've done it in the, in the, in the country in the past, and we're going to do it again. And with your help, Oregon is going to lead the way. Thank you very much. <laughs>